The overall goal of this procedure is to couple adhesive tape-based sampling of fresh produce with whole cell molecular detection of Salmonella species using rapid fluorescence in situ hybridization, also known as FISH. This is accomplished by first applying sticky tape to the desired material and extracting surface-bound cells. Cell-charged tapes may be analyzed directly or subjected to solid or liquid phase enrichments. The second step of the procedure is on-tape cell fixation and dehydration in an ethanol series. For cells eluded into or enriched in broth, the second step involves cell fixation in suspension, followed by resuspension of cells in storage buffer. The third step of the procedure is to perform a rapid on-tape hybridization step using a salmonella-specific oligonucleotide probe cocktail, followed by removal of excess probe with a wash buffer rinse. For samples analyzed via fax, the fish step is carried out in suspension, and excess probe may be removed using a simple dilution step prior to analysis. The final step of the procedure is to counterstain the hybridized tape-bound cells with DAPI and examine them using fluorescence microscopy. For fax-based analyses, a counterstain is not needed. Ultimately, this method provides a means for visual or cytometric detection of salmonella species that may be present on sampled fresh produce. I first had the idea for this method when reading about an Italian group that was using a similar approach to examine bacterial communities on Roman-era stone relics. Vladar and I led a discussion of this work in a class that I was teaching on rapid methods in food microbiology. A few weeks later, a salmonella outbreak traced to fresh produce began, ultimately sickening nearly 1,500 people in 43 different states. Well, our experimental approach offers a timely and practical avenue for the detection of the specific bacterial types on fresh